In this part, according to isometric lessons, we want to check the condition of curves in buildings, but simple curves, even with simple curves, we want to see what can we do with the simple curves that we learned in isometric. Look closely, I'm designing a body or a volume like this. Let's make it a little thicker so it can be seen in the video much better. So this is a cubic shape. What I will do as I learn that we can move like this whenever we want, which means I had to draw parallel to the top one in the bottom. So what will happen, we'll find the parallels in the bottom and this is our building's skin connected to the building from here and I can fill the space between them with any material that I want. Like this. In this part, we only need to draw a line parallel to this curved surface and this part I can go inside instead of going parallel to it. And here so easily we created an entrance with some stairs maybe. Look I'm putting some stairs here to this height. So this is our entrance and I use this curve So I fastened here and took it inside the building and gave it some details. So just so easily we create a shape that is rotating around my building. I will draw the connection on the left side. We can put stairs here. The reason that I'm doing it fast because we want to do more designs together like this. And let's add it. And go to the next parts. Let's add some trees also. So it's looking more professional. Now, if you want to make the shell to be seen better, I'm going to pick up, for example, CG marker, CG number three, or BG number one and three and move from lighter to darker areas. I'll do my brushing and do the highlights like this. And then let's add more shadows and do the darker parts. Look, with just some stains. This became the shell of our building. Let's go to the next part. I want to analyze a couple of parts together. But before we move to the next one, let's add a, just some more details to it. That's some trees and make it more interesting. I'm not gonna color it very widely, but just with one color. Most of the time when I'm doing my sketching and thinking about my designs. I'm not thinking too much if my details are super accurate or I don't think about colors too much. Just simple colors are enough. And I can deliver my concept with these simple things. Look closely. Now I did this and when I'm in isometric, like this, if I do this movement and bring the parallel next to it. We've got another output like this. And if the right side is not similar to the left side, something else will happen. When I do this movement, we can fix the remainings together. This can be a separate surface and do a volume beneath it, or it can be a volume. I'll turn this into a shell like this. We can add a floor here like this. Moving down and add a 
some stairs next to our building. I like you guys to see these curves more and when you saw this type of stuff to not think that there is something complicated is happening inside the building. But in advance sketching I will expand and explain to you guys how easily this stuff can be done and what is happening exactly over there and how easy these can happen. So I'll turn this part into glass. Like this. And we close it and do the same over here. It can be closed or open. Even a part can come down. We can add some hashing also to it to show the height of it. And I can just add it some color to it with some marker. And if I use BG here, and as much as you go outward, the shadows will be lighter. So like this, when we darken the D parts, we can show it very clearly. So instead of using BG, I can use CG number three and mix them together going upwards and slowly we'll open it up and give it some distance here also the same like this we can also add it to glassy areas But my shadows or some stains that I'm adding is not very serious. But for me, dissect of my shape and what is happening is much more important. And for me to help you guys to use simple curves in your designs, it will help us to have a better result with this course together. Because these analyzers will help you guys to have better outcome. Look, I did this and solved it just like this. Let's move to the next one now. I'll pick up another sheet of paper here. Look closely. There are sometimes... If you can analyze two shapes in this paper, it could be really good. Look, I'm moving from this side to this side with this movement. From the other side, like that. Coming down vertically, connect them together, again coming down vertically. And parallel to the upper layer, like this. So this created a momentum like this. And if I turn this into a separate shell for our building, it can become like Paradise Cinema in Melat Park in Iran. But because that curved surface is not like this one, because the curves are moving in three different axes, I'm not going to teach it here. Because it's going to be a little complicated for you guys. I'll separate this part from the building and this is our shell now. And in this volume, we have curves in every direction, like this. Now, what will happen here and what type of detail we will add? From one side, I will add stairs and move it up like this. Consider an opening here. And this part got some height to it because I'm not going to do three axis curves here. I prefer to keep it all easier this time. Let's bring this one here. And from this side, I can go inside. Here vertically to this side. And because of the simple movement that we did, it became a little more complicated. If I added two 
stains of color here, it will become more distinguished. So let's highlight the deeper parts, move outwards, As you can see, it's like this. Upper parts also, so it will be distinct more. And as you can see, we did curves with two simple techniques only. Which means it's really not that complicated. And in advanced areas, I will explain to you guys all the techniques for curves. So you will see how easy it is working with curves and at the same time designing and having an outcome from them and super easy you can create and analyze your own curves even the stuff that you can see to analyze and make something out of it so this happened in another way and i want to analyze another form to see what we can do look closely I'll move one part like this and another movement like this. This time I'm coming down vertically and parallel to the upper line, this one. And here instead of drawing parallel, I will connect it to the upper line. Let's connect here also. Something really interesting happens here now. Let's add some stairs here. And then we divide here like this. Divide them like this and do my flooring. What happens is now our shape is inside the ground. So without doing any complicated movement, we send this shape into the ground. And we can get lots of different outputs from this. Let's add some openings here to move them inside. And with some simple highlighting, darkening the deeper parts. I can easily show my movement here and create this and as you can see it's really easy as long as you understood it in geometric perspective and when you understood it in geometric perspective it's going to be, become really easy for you guys as you can see i'm just using one color let's even draw shadows and define the shadows here next to this part and this made it very interesting and with a simple green color let's design and color around it pay attention of how interesting it's becoming without doing anything complicated or making the volume super complicated. In my opinion, one of the important things that you should do before doing perspectives is to analyze all forms and shapes. And later on when you learn techniques in 3D shapes and curved shapes, this will become super easy for you guys. But before that, Try to analyze all shapes, even simple shapes. When you analyze all forms, you can have interesting outcome from it. Even though that I'm doing very simple changes here, even with this simple change, I can create an amazing output. Which means something like this in architectural designing can be really charming, even in landscape. It's a wonderful design. When you master these curves, you can work with them really easy. 
you just need to know parallel lines and how to follow them and to enhance your 3D and geometry visualization in order to learn these designs by root. But in advanced sketching I will teach curves much more detail and we will do a lot more sample and uh, we will analyze more and we will learn how to have a completed outcome from simple shapes. Take care.